Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for quite a while now, I've been looking for a decent free screen recorder um, for Linux, and last night, I believe I finally found it. It's called Simple Screen Recorder, all one word. And so far, I like this so much because compared to many of the others that I've used over the years, it's worked straight out of the box. The quality is pretty decent. Uh, so far, it hasn't glitched on me once. And it's also very easy to use. But the thing that I love the best is videos don't take too long to encode either. Um, if you notice any lag at all throughout the recording of this video, it's simply because I'm using an old machine. It's close to seven years old. So yeah, it's pretty stable. I'm planning to use this for a few tutorials because it seems perfect for the job. And you could probably, if your computer was uh, had decent enough spec, you could probably use this to record some Let's Play videos as well. I've seen people uh, use this to record gameplay and it was quite smooth. So let's take a quick look at the software itself. So when you load it up, you're presented with this simple splash page, and it tells you that, <coughs> excuse me, it tells you that despite the name, this program actually has a lot of options. Uh, it basically works straight out of the box usually, and uh, all settings basically have tool tips if you don't know what they uh, what they do. So just hover your mouse over to find out what it does. So if we click continue, you're presented with this simple page uh, that gives you a fair amount of options. You have the choice, uh, let's say you have dual monitor set up or multiple monitors, it gives you the choice to record as many screens as you want. In this case I only have one so um, just leave it at that. It gives you the option to record the entire screen which is obviously what I've got it set to right now. Record a fixed rectangle, uh, follow the cursor, record an OpenGL. You can basically use this to record specific windows of your choice as well. So also, it gives you the option to choose your frame rate, uh, scale the video to whatever size you want, record the cursor or not record it, and you've got your audio options down here. Right now I'm just recording to an external microphone, but you could also record directly from the sound card as well. So if you think those settings are fine, just click continue, and you're brought to this page. So what this basically uh, is about it gives you the option of where you want to save the file to, what you want to name the file. You can uh, separate the file into many parts if you want. Gives you the option to choose the container. By default, this thing sets it straight to Matro uh, Matroska. You also get the choice of MP4, WebM, OGG, or another format. Um, like I say, I'm basically just using this on the default settings. The only thing that I've changed is this setting here, which is your video quality. Zero is the best quality, 51 is the lowest. Um, before I get ahead of myself, let's change the video codec too. Um, by default, that's what it's set as. That's basically what I use. I've had no problems with it. You've got your encoding speed. You can uh, skip frames if you if you feel necessary to do so. And of course you've got some more audio settings over here. By default it's set to Vorbis which is what I'm using, but you could also use MP3, AAC, uncompressed or another format. Uh, down here you've simply got your bitrate. Leave it at 128 if, you, uh, if you're just doing talking in your videos, 128 is fine. Didn't mean to do that, right. Need to change this file format because uh, otherwise I'll overwrite this video. So if we cl if uh, we click continue again, we're finally brought to the recording page. Simply just press start recording to record your video. You could also use a hotkey in this case. I've got it set to control plus R. Um, I'll show you this on the instance I'm recording from because you'll see this working a bit better there. Uh, you can set up a preview if you'd like. I don't really bother because, like I say, I'm using an old PC and I, I really just don't need it. It gives you the information here on the left, how long you've been recording, frames in, frames out, the size of the video, file name, file size, 
as you can see right now uh, we've been recording for five minutes and two seconds and the video size is nine meg which really isn't too bad you've also got your bitrate down here of course at the bottom here you've got a log which basically just gives you a blow-by-blow -blow account of things that are going on as it happens also your record button doubles as a pause button as well so once you're done recording you simply just click save recording and the video will be done that's basically all you need to do I don't need this anymore um, one thing I do need to mention this program isn't available through the Ubuntu Software Center however you can get it pretty easily by copy and pasting these codes into the terminal if you're not too clever with the terminal neither am I don't worry um, I'll add these into the description box on the video so you just need to copy and paste these in which uh, the reason why I'm showing you this even though terminal is quite easy is simply because for those of you who don't know you can't press control V to copy and paste them in you need to go up to edit and then paste so then just uh, press enter and it'll do its thing so for the first one it'll basically uh, usually just ask you to press enter to add the PPA so you press enter and that's all you need to do uh, just do the same thing with these two and you will easily have the program sorry for uh, going off a little bit there I just lost track I'm pretty tired even though I've had about six energy drinks today it's just not worked anyway that's uh, all I really needed to show you I'll make sure to put those in the description for you and I'll catch you later with another video thank you